Hi everyone, uh, this is David. Hey, thanks for dropping by the classroom for this short lesson on quotations. How to use direct quotations effectively in your own writing. Throughout today's lesson, try to keep one thing in mind, and that thing is this. Quotations make great additions to your writing. Hey, don't believe me. Check out what some of the other experts say. For example, Purdue University's online writing lab, Citation 2010, says about quotations, they serve many purposes. One of the most important is to add support to your claim. Hey, what just happened? I gave you an opinion of mine, but then I backed up that opinion. I backed up my claim by giving a quotation from another expert, from an authority, to give my opinion credibility, to give it depth. So what I'd like to do in this lesson is to analyze this example to show you three techniques that I'd like for you to employ whenever you use direct quotations in your writing. And those three techniques are, number one, introduce your quotation. In other words, a quotation should not seem like it simply dropped out of the sky and landed in your paragraph. You want to integrate that quotation into your own paragraph by using a signal phrase or speaker tag. Our signal phrase in this case is Purdue University's online writing lab says about quotations. Other signal phrases that are common are according to Jane Doe, as Jane Doe explains, as one critic points out, John Doe believes that, etc., etc. Now, technique number two, be sure to cite your quotation accurately. No matter what style guide you're using, APA, MLA, Chicago, etc., whenever you use a source in your writing, it must be cited accurately. And technique number three, follow up on the direct quotation. Here you see that we have provided a transition sentence that helps to weave the direct quotation into the fabric of the paragraph so that its purpose and its use and its place is clear to our readers. Okay, to summarize, be sure to use three simple techniques. Introduce the quote, cite the quote, follow up on the quote. Use those three things and you'll be employing the voices of other writers in your writing effectively. Okay, thanks for dropping by. I'll see you later.